Today we're going to be installing this navigation screen from CarPride in our school bus that actually can't drive anywhere yet. We only have about five months to finish this build and get on the road because we're heading to Utah in October and CarPride was nice enough to send us their navigation screen that we can install and it has Apple CarPlay and a bunch of other features that we're excited to test out. All right, so we got the components all laid out here. Um, now we just have to install it. So we want to put the navigation screen right here. I think I'm going to have to buy a cigarette lighter to put in that hole right there so we can plug it in and power this thing. For now, um, I'm just going to mount this navigation screen. I'm going to put it right around there. That way I can still look at it while I'm driving pretty easily. It's not getting in the way of my line of sight when I'm driving. And we can put in a cigarette lighter right here that we can just plug the car pride system right into. Pretty cool. It's a pretty, pretty big screen, which is nice. Up on the top here is the power button. And then over on the side here, is all the connections. You got your mic at the top, your TF card, camera in. You can also install a backup camera. It also has an AV out, a USB, and the power supply. Pretty simple, uh, super easy to install if you have a regular vehicle. For us, we're just gonna have to install a cigarette lighter right here. So it's the next day. I finally got the Car Pride screen hooked up to power. So I can actually turn it on now. The problem is the bus won't start because the batteries are too low, of course. All right, moment of truth. Finally got the bus started and we got the navigation screen working, finally. Um, so now we're gonna go through and we're gonna set this whole thing up and we're gonna show you guys how we do it. We actually don't have speakers in the bus and we don't plan on putting any speakers in. Uh, but the nice thing about this is it has a speaker built into it and it has voice control. And it sets up to Apple phones and Android phones and it has voice control, Provo, Utah. So we can just talk to it and we don't have to worry about touching the screen and putting in directions while we're driving, so it makes it safer. So we're gonna go set up the Bluetooth for my phone right now. Now I got my phone there. I can make calls off this, we can play music. That was pretty easy. And it just paired with the time automatically once it connected to Zach's phone. Oh yeah, that's nice. It feels pretty nice. I still have the screen protector on it, so it's it's a the screen touch isn't as good right now because the screen protector is still on it, but I want to leave it on because we're still building the bus out. The screen is actually a, has an automatic dimmer, so when it gets dark, it dims itself. I mean, there's a lot of custom, customers customization. So overall, for this CarPlay navigation screen, um, is at the start, it was very easy to install. Um, I literally just had to put on the sticky strip and connect it back here. The only hard part for us was getting the bus started and getting it connected to the bus. Um, but besides that, we really like the screen size of it and we love the Apple CarPlay. It connected to my phone really easily and we cannot wait to get this thing on the road and test this thing out more. So if you like this video or you thought this was helpful or you wanna go uh, check this CarPlay navigation screen out yourself. There's a link in the description and we have a 15% off discount code that comes with it. So check it out.